The California Gold Rush of 1848 to 1855 and the Klondike Gold Rush of 1896 to 1899 reshaped history. Gold fever led thousands of people to abandon their homes, businesses, ships, and even families in search of great treasures. This was a dangerous proposition with prospectors risking starvation, diseases, and bandits in this truly wild west. The California Gold Rush started on January 24, 1848, when a carpenter working on a water-driven sawmill in Northern California found gold nuggets in the stream. Word soon spread, and by August, newspapers as far as New York and beyond reported of the new gold region. A virtual stampede ensued to California from all over the world, with estimates of 6,000 prospectors in 1848 and the big surge in 1849 of almost 60,000 prospectors. This is where the term 49ers originated. Over 300,000 prospectors in all came to this region during this period. Gold nuggets and flakes were first found by hand and by panning in streams. By 1850, most of the easy pickings were depleted and prospectors scaled up operations using equipment to handle larger amounts of ore and even built dams to divert rivers to expose the riverbeds for mining. Eventually, the lower grade ore was followed by hard rock mining, which is still employed today. The California Gold Rush produced over 11 million ounces of gold. It was one of many gold rushes around the world in the 1850s, with others in the US, Canada, Brazil, South Africa, New Zealand, and Australia. The Victorian Gold Rush in Australia saw over 3 million ounces of gold recovered in 1856 alone. With so many new people in the region, farms, ranches, and towns quickly went up. In 1850, California officially became the 31st state of the United States of America. The Klondike Gold Rush is perhaps the last great gold rush with over 100,000 would-be prospectors attempting the long and difficult journey to the Yukon in northwestern Canada. Only around 30,000 made it to the gold fields, with around 4,000 prospectors actually finding gold. This rush ended in 1899 when news of gold discoveries in Nome, Alaska had prospectors picking up and moving on. Mining activities continue in these regions with tailings from old mines now profitable to mine due to improved technology and the higher price of gold. The United States still remains the third largest gold producing country in the world, second only to China and Australia. Modern day prospectors still pan for gold and find this the fun way to feel and live the gold fever of yesteryear.